करण करण यू जस्ट बीन अनम्यूटेड प्लीज स्टार्ट नाउ यू जस्ट बीन अनम्यूटेड I on behalf of team of informal webinar welcome Mr Chetan Mittal senior advocate assistant solicitor general and all our participants from all across the country who are here with us on zoom on youtube and on various social media platforms it is a very different afternoon today we all know we are elated after hearing our prime minister at ladakh talking to our troops and raising their morale Hello you are muted Am I audible to all? Yes, go ahead, go ahead, Karan. Friends, today's topic is art of advocacy. When we talk about art of advocacy, we often draw a picture of a lawyer arguing eloquently in court. But most of the people from legal fraternity who are here with me would advocate. see is much beyond just arguing a matter in court recently mr fali nar god saves the supreme court cho sure. to the art of advocacy i quote what he said it brings out india's constitutional history in the making and it was in the struggle for the custody of the constitution between parliament and the court that the true art of superlative advocacy was witnessed the struggle ultimately resulted in the establishment of the supremacy neither of parliament nor of court this was accomplished the basic structure of constitution to talk about art of advocacy between us we have shri chetan mittal senior advocate an alumnus of department of law jab university mr chetan mittal comes from family of lawyers mr r k mittal his father is a renowned lawyer on civil side at chandigarh mr mittal was designated as senior advocate in the year 2008 he remained additional advocate general for state of punjab twice once in the year 2000 2001 and subsequently in the year 2007 to 2011 in the year 2014 the government of india designated him appointed him as assistant solicitor general with 30 years of service to the institution and to justice dispensation system mr mittal is here with us that was his formal introduction friends but since we are with informal webinar i must introduce him informally as well to us mr chetan mittal senior advocate is chetan ji chetan sir a very affable person especially two younger members of the bar when this lockdown started friends few days prior to it i was sitting in a court room and mr mittal's associate i know he doesn't like calling them juniors his associate varun appeared before a court and he sought for a passover since mr mittal is on his way on his legs and the court said why don't you give facts and varun not just started with facts he gave little bit of background about customs also mr mittal recollect it was a matter in court room number 26 and i informed him immediately that varun is holding the fort very nicely but uh, you are required he came and stood behind varun varun didn't realize that he is there till somebody picked his coat and told him that mr mittal is here he just kept standing behind him and when varun realized he said mr mittal is here and the first thing with mr mittal said to the honorable court was your lordships varun prepare on this matter very hard i think he can assist your lordships that is chetan ji to us over several years over various cups of coffees and pakoras at our tea table we have discussed books with mr mittal we have discussed meditation we have discussed politics we have discussed various policies of government he is extremely prompt with his updates on everything which is going on not just in india but in world rather the fact that our prime minister landed at ladakh today was also first broke to this news was posted to us by mr mittal in the morning so that is mr chetan i would not take much time mr mittal on art of advocacy thank you 
thank you everybody the introduction given by karan is i think too much about me i have come from this same profession we all are in the same profession i always talk to you because i have also gone through that time whether you are 2 years new year new into profession 10 years or 15 years the topic which you have kept is very interesting if you read books you will always find ethics what is ethics in the written in the advocate sect and all i as a family will be taking this topic in a different manner altogether i will keep it because it's a informal webinar i am also be will be informal to understand the the art of advocacy which was there when we started or our senior started start started in their time and when we used to get information from them or their experience in life the time has totally changed now the last 5 to 10 years the advocacy the court system has extremely changed some people say it changed after 15 20 years or 25 years but every 5 years the system is changing therefore the art of advocacy we have to understand in the present context only first of all i to understand what is advocacy is we have to understand one thing that we are fortunate that we are lawyers the biggest thing which you have to realize before entering or before improving yourself is that we are fortunate why i am saying so i was i was never willing to come to this profession i joined and there was a plus one earlier it used to be prep i as a non medical student then i joined bcom i wanted to become ca when i joined law i wanted to become is officer but ultimately i landed into this profession when i landed into this profession then first of all i tried to understand which i am telling you today what is the beauty of this profession those days nobody used to guide us they used to only say go to the office read pleadings you will start learning what is advocacy sit in the court learn try to hear the arguments of both the sides you will become a lawyer my understanding of this profession is totally different this is a profession in the modern time which is most independent we remain socially active which you will not find in any profession we will remain alive to the ground realities of life and where this society is going in no other field you will find these kind of things where while working you will come to know what is going on in the society and then there are various openings in the last few years besides high court or district court which we used to hear in our time i will first of all the topic uh, before going to the advocacy what is what do you mean by advocacy what are the basic fundamentals other factor which is, which i will like to share with you all we belong to punjab and haryana high court i am also worked i am also coming every day to the high court going for the work coming back many of the lawyers especially in this covid 19 situation must be feeling that what i am doing the, during these 2 3 months whether even profession is good for me or not to them to begin with i wanted to tell everybody which i am telling to even the law students i happened to go to law uh, chandigarh uh, five year course twice i always ask the student how many of you wants to come into practice only five will raise the hand the rest will say where you want to go all judiciary the reason is nobody tells them that besides high court district courts there are various tribunals one day in on the same table which karan was referring to we discussed and we found 30 courts and tribunals working within chandigarh and everywhere lawyers are required however we have a very straight forward thinking in chandigarh i am maybe take it as a complaint also whatever you may say 
we go to the high court come back from the high court we don't see any other tribunal we don't work, want to go to any other court like other i will give the example of delhi and bombay or any other metro city i will say chandigarh is a metro city now so before going to the typical topic of advocacy i want to start with this that this is the time every lawyer practicing in punjab and haryana high court must think about all these things this covid 19 situation that you can't be dependent upon one place of working that is the high court only so you may take it in any sense but i am telling you this is the time when the physical appearance will come back you have to explore this very effectively whatever whatever taste you may like maybe in the service people uh, uh, lawyers may go to cat railway tribunal is there rera is there consumer forums are there if you have some personal litigation you will try to find out best of the lawyers in these tribunal you will not find anybody so please as young lawyers of 5 10 years practice or a beginner please try to explore this which is foremost to understand what is advocacy in the present scenario this is directly linked with the today topic that's why i am stressing in the beginning on this now i will come to the basic fundamentals which i have learned forget wherever written i am giving you basic fundamentals of this profession first of all your impression expression reaction behavior and preparation five fundamentals i am repeating impression expression reaction behavior and preparation so these are five fundamentals for our advocacy which i have learned for my experience which nobody told us but i have wanted to share and this is the best platform which you people have given to me to share my views on this which during this covid 19 i have tried to understand what we have done in life till now 30 years karan has informed even i started counting 30 years is a long time we still feel that 5 10 years back only we have come into the profession so the first is the impression impression include inside the court and outside the court please note this fact in front of the judges not only in front of the clients in front of fellow colleagues somebody just quote i am giving a quote somebody always is watching you you are a lawyer you are a responsible citizen of the city of the country so somebody is always watching you so please about keep take care of your impressions throughout the day wherever you go and you have not to be burdened because of that you have to make as a life time behavior like that in for which i will give some other lecture that how you can change your behavior for that but fundamental is this that you are being watched by everybody throughout the day the clients are watching your neighbor is watching the judge is watching the fellow colleagues are watching which makes your impression inside the outside the court second is behavior your dress your manners and timings and adjournment things the presence in the court also many lawyers will come at 11 o'clock 12 o'clock 2 o'clock thinking that their case is at 2 o'clock then this dress i am telling you if you ask me even on a vacation if somebody you have a work in the high court or a meeting on administrative side it i become very uncomfortable if i am not dressed in the court the court dress it makes me very uncomfortable why because we are recognized by our dress you may criticize people some people say why dress for lawyers no it's very good it's a recognition maybe part of it is by britishers or anybody but the dress makes us more disciplined more effective more being recognized in society so please take care of your dress your manners your timings and the last one i am saying in the court which is part of mannerism the you don't become adjournment counsel so this is 
part of your behavior inside and the outside again this is my second basic fundamental of advocacy which i am then the expression now i tell you one example which even the judge judge friend on the other side told once you are arguing sometime your junior is sitting and the judge is asking the question the expression of your junior makes lot of difference your own reaction to the bench also makes a difference when the other counsel is arguing how you behave how you react and this is what i have found it during webinar also in webinar you can see many people together you will recognize immediately the expression of any whether he is agreeing or disagreeing with you same thing while sitting on the chair the judge is watching till the gate justice jail gupta used to catch hold of the lawyer even if you used, used to peep inside oh you, this is your case come here your number is about to come even he used to recognize the clerk even he used to recognize the client sitting there he used to call the clients when there was some confusion when he was elevated as a chief justice of kerala high court he shared with everybody that i used to argue with the petitioner counsel i used to argue with the respondent counsel whenever there was a confusion i used to look for a client that whether the client is sitting in the court or not then i used to call him and ask him certain question because i myself was confused what is the reality so the expression of you your client your junior everything matters so your face expression your all other expression is also valuable or invaluable contribution in your part of as a part of your profession not only knowledge i am giving you something different which you i personally feel may not find anywhere else then the reaction which i said reaction reaction to a query of the bench howsoever stupid it may be how you react reaction to your client howsoever stupid the client can be and reaction to the opposite counsel how stupid argument or fact the other side may raise so this also is part of advocacy that you have to react thinking that nobody knows better than you if the judge doesn't know if the judge is asking according to you a stupid question you have to behave in a very humble manner you have to react appropriately if the other counsel is very aggressive proportionately you have to be aggressive less than him sometimes the judges get annoyed how to tackle the situation there you can't react to the judge the same the judge is reacting to you so the reaction to the judge to the client to the opposite counsel is also part of advocacy so every topic which i am giving has i have my own experience and experience of others we can keep on discussion discussing whenever the physical opening will be there over a cup of tea or a cup of pakora uh, with pakoras and all as karan was saying then the question is fifth is the preparation now this is this is the most important thing which i wanted to share with you now when i joined profession i let's be frank with everybody i don't know about your experience because nobody has time to listen to everybody my experience was that whenever i used to go to any office to learn whether it was my father's office whether my uh, senior office or anybody the general principle which i used to listen is give him a brief take out the pleadings start reading start preparing note this is going on even till today but my experience is totally otherwise my experience in the modern days is more uh, different than and i am more uh, convinced that my view is right my view is that first of all whatever is the issue involved in the brief you should have the legal knowledge of the same the pleadings will come automatically in your mind if you don't know the law what will you do in, with the brief what will you do with the pleadings pleadings is nothing i am sure my seniors will beat me up for saying so but the fact of the matter is if you don't know the bare provision 
what is the dispute involved suppose there is a landlord tenant dispute if you doesn't know which act will is applicable what is the provision involved where the landlord is asking for eviction what are the ground of eviction where it is provided what can be your defense you can't read the brief at all this is mechanical system which is going on from last several years i am open critic of this system here we are falling absolutely the new lawyer for 2 years 3 years doesn't realize where he is going i have seen lawyers on this account only leaving the profession also i'm telling you one thing so basic preparation has to start from the basic bare act try to reach law is common sense i am telling you it has not come from heaven law is common sense if you have you somebody comes to your to your house wants to understand that somebody has thrown some garbage out of it what will you do you will go first of all to the municipal laws so these this is common sense you will try to understand where it the this is prohibited you will try to go into the rules where the fines are provided and this is common problems which a, which a litigant comes to you even some new subject has come to you first of all go which law is applicable which law regulates this rights whether it is a fundamental right or a constitutional right if constitutional fundamental rights are one thing then whether it is by regulated by some act or provision therein so try to define that how i can how where to i have to read even if you know please from today onwards it is my humble request to everybody start going back to the old fundamental read the bare provision first of all don't think you know everything in our times there used to be only one air manual and if somebody gives a digest then your days are made out days made out civil court digest or criminal uh, this recent criminal digest have come much later we used to go to all the books to put used to put to, books the together together and used to read the index to find out a judgment on the topic how lucky the present uh, present generation is you have free sites i am telling you one of my juniors told me about indian kanun 4 5 years back why sitting in the court on my mobile i have helped many indian kanun free site you have to just put a catch word you will find the solution if something new has come to you please try to understand what is the basic law on this topic and it is very easy to find out in our libraries all the cds are available i hardly see anybody in the library these days we used to go we used to find out the gazette notification from the high court library the library always used to be full of the lawyers trying to find out some judgment from the digest and all now people go only for a print out when the seniors will senior will tell you or that you get a judgment he will go and will be sitting for a print out without understanding what is written there next principle of preparation is please don't go by the head note please don't go by the head note of the judgment maybe today you are taking extra one hour to to read the entire judgment your speed will increase with the passage of time today you are taking two hours maybe after some time after a month you will in 15 minutes 20 minutes you will reach to the crux and then what will happen what, what why i am saying so you are pleading as a petitioner you are pleading as a respondent and your confidence in the court will increase so therefore legal knowing the legal position for preparation of the case is the fundamental and foremost thing for the point of view of the heading i which i am describing the preparation then comes the facts knowing the facts from the client is must sometime as a senior advocate i am telling you we tend to avoid to interact the lawyer uh, the client even a client rustic client coming from a village today will tell you such fact which 
his lawyer in the district court is not aware of and has not listened to him or even while giving briefing to the junior he has skipped or you have i have found men in many cases and that document or that fact is the most important fact at the time of argument and sometime while doing rsa i have seen that document is lying in the brief of the lawyer the certified copy is lawyer lying there but that is not part of the record this is the most unfortunate and injustice to any client please try to put yourself as a patient while going to a doctor the same is the situation of a client who is coming to you if the doctor doesn't prepare well what will happen to your body if the doctor doesn't reach to your case he doctor doesn't and will not able to diagnose the proper problem we will abuse the doctor we will try to take him into the court luckily we are in a profession where the life at least is not involved but sometime a litigation is more than a life for a family so try to know and extract the facts from the client then after that whenever you will prepare then in the court the preparation should be not only of your facts but the judgments which you are citing you should know the facts of that case also try to prepare a small note and then try to narrate the same like a story in the court what is advocacy to my understanding the advocacy is to convince a opposite person maybe a judge whenever we talk we try to convince each other we discuss each other this is a forum of discussion putting across the view the of the client in the court for which you are paid the judgment agree or disagree at least you will have a satisfaction that you have put across everything and if you will tell the facts of the case where the law is settled in your favor that is the best thing you can do or justice to a judge also who is going to uh, ultimately dictate a judgment and also to your client and your internal satisfaction so please prepare a brief of the facts of the case which you are referring to so ultimately in nutshell as far as the preparation part is i have given three legal knowledge bear at judgments facts and how you put across in the court and then strategy you have five points please in the morning some lawyers in i know as a matter of fact who are part of today's webinar they prepare their case very well this also comes with the experience i always name mr ashok agarwal senior advocate i have learned a lot from him he will listen to you in the evening he will call you in the morning he will keep on discussing with you in the end what he does he will listen something from you, uh, uh, in the end and then he will start arguing this comes with the we used to be very surprised that what kind of preparation he is doing the purpose of the morning sitting is to prepare yourself your strategy the which point to be taken first second third fourth if the judge doesn't agree and to also explore what kind of argument the other side will take against you how to deal with that situation 90% lawyers are very good in preparation of their facts law also but they ignore the preparation of the other side which is also very mandatory to know that what the opposite side will bring whether how they will present so if you are a opposite counsel what you will say and what answer you have to give immediately because the window at least in the i court is very small if you are able to rebut it in a minute the judge is convinced sometime all everything it goes within seconds also i will say not in minutes also so if you will be able to know with your reading of the law and the facts that what the other side is going to rebut then you have complete control over your brief so last but one in the in the heading of the preparation is that try to understand this the reply or response of the other side and the legal position or the judgments which they are going to cite so this is how i personally feel 
the preparation should be for a case. So I have covered, I think, the impression, behavior, expression, reaction, and preparation. Now last in this basic fundamental is the knowledge. Now apart from knowledge, which you gather from the digest or CDs or websites and everything, I tell you my personal experience. There used to be court visits. I used to go in the district courts with my father in his chamber. There used to be one week court visits in our time. I don't know these days, maybe more. He always used to tell everybody that I don't want, you won't learn anything in one week. Whatever you have read in the news today in the morning, please write two to three pages. I have never understood at that time what he is trying to say. He says, if you want to become a lawyer, please, whatever you have read in the paper, three days he used to say this. Fourth, fifth, or sixth, or two days or three days left, he will say, you go to any court, whatever you have listened there, whatever you have heard, the observation of the judge or the advocate, in any case, you give me two pages on that. Don't fill up the entire copy. I will give 10 out of 10. You fill up and maybe incorrect facts and all. Start writing for these days. Instead of writing, all youngsters are very good on their laptops. If they can't write, at least whatever they have read, either on the newspapers, social media, anything wrong or right, try to type it, try to put in writing, maybe one page or two pages. Then in the end, he used to say, you will become an advocate if you can write five pages like this in a week. So knowledge from knowledge from newspaper, social media, these kind of discussions, whether in the high court or outside, all this is part of the same heading, the knowledge beyond law, I will say. And today we are very lucky to have such kind of things where you, you can assess right or wrong. You may say today a political statement which I'm making, but it is a, I am saying in a positive way. Earlier, our media was one-sided views we used to get. We never used to have the other thing, other side of the, because the print media was the only source or the DD news used to be the only source. But today we have all kinds of inputs from any, every person, every, uh, uh, whether it is Twitter, whether it is other social medias, whether you can Google any topic to find out all these things. So for advocacy also, this is must. And in the end, I will give you unique qualities of this profession. And I will end the, with the conclusion. These are the basic fundamentals of advocacy which I have given. And I try to conclude at the earliest which in the, in the time prescribed. But in five minutes, I will give you the other things. You need qualities which you can imbibe in this profession. One is honesty. You, in, no, you may, in a government job, you are compelled to do something wrong. Here, honesty, it is in your control. You, while remaining honest, can do profession freely. This is the beauty of the profession. Then I will add one that quality which every successful lawyer is, can have, is having, is the psychology. And then third point is, vis-a-vis -vis race and greed, we have healthy competition. This is our unique profession where everybody comes to the court. I'm going to stress this because sometimes we feel in while looking at others that they are, the other person has progressed like this. He is having a car here today. He has become something. He is having a post today. Why I'm feeling, why I'm not getting this kind of frustration comes. Please compare our profession with other profession. I will give you only one example. And that is also the factual example I'm giving. I was conducting a case of doctors. All have done MBBS, one was doing MD. 
they were interacting with my junior in a case i offered them a cup of tea that they are doctors they are coming every day one of the lady doctor out of the couple was there she asked me how much your junior is earning i reacted immediately you have no business to ask then she explained sir why we are asking she said me and my husband both are doctors one is in pgi and i am in general hospital my net saving after deduction is 1.5 lakhs we have with great difficulty passing out the entrance and all mbbs we have done we are not getting even admission in md we are at the age of 27 28 29 but our earning is thus and from mbbs people have started going to law why that's why i'm asking so i told her that if a lawyer in modern days can survive for 3 years for, as a student of mbbs or md he is better off than any other person as a doctor or anybody else from the earning point of view also so look at the you compare yourself with the other profession also this is a profession which is opening there are a lot of fields where you can earn also and earn honestly also another example i will give of just a jl gupta he used to say that once you are reading the brief this is the unique profession if you are liking the profession you will read the uh, brief like a novel or a movie which of your liking so your interest in the case which for which you are paid politician always criticize that we are not being paid and we have to do service social service and they always say you people are doing social service also you are aware of the ground realities also and you are being paid for it that's the uniqueness of our profession one unique one more factor i will say no not much investment a businessman has to invest a lot to set up a infrastructure earlier it used to the old lawyer used to say table or kursi chahiye aur kuch nahi chahiye then came the cooler then came the acs then came the computers in spite of all these infrastructure which is the requirement of modern days our investment is very less in comparison to any other business you can work at your discretion you are not asked to work that you have to work from 8 to 5 or 8 to 10 i like any other profession or you are working in a multinational company after doing your mba or iim or iit so uniqueness of this profession you have to understand and especially this is the time where you can understand last but one i will say that in this covid 19 situation three things everybody should do this is a golden opportunity yes it's a distressing time also we are free how there is a situation where life and death is involved but we have seen from last last two months we have seen what is possible what is not possible within that limited circumstances what we can do update yourself on each and every topic update that to the new litigation force measure contractual disputes banking problems msme problems criminal sites cases which are about to come new provisions which you normally don't get time whatever is your interest in any of the topic try to go deep into and i know in this, in this forum very good talks have taken place this this kind of group should be created and it should continue the way you people are doing the in, in, by interaction and discussion you can achieve everything if you are sitting alone you trying to get topic you will never reach and last conclusion which i have heard from somebody that who can be the best lawyer what are the stages of the lawyer there are four stages first you should consider yourself as successful lawyer if a client comes he you argue the matter whether decided or dismissed he goes with satisfaction second stage comes when he comes back with another case of his him that i have got one case done he has performed well even if i have lost but he is a good lawyer 
that is the second stage the third stage is when he recommends to somebody else that is the third stage and the final stage when the opposing law uh, the opposing client says i have done a blunder mistake next case i will get it done from this lawyer so please we have to go to that level last one line which i will definitely as a uh, conclusion may say and all please remain real in life and that too in the profession don't try to copy if you are from a you are not having a very good language or dialect or you can't converse properly try to improve that don't copy many lawyers i have seen in the process of copying others are killing their own intellect advocacy is an art do by copying somebody you will not earn anything so these are my few words whatever i can say and uh, best thing is to yourself is your satisfaction can be when you after doing the case you can say who can be better than myself in this case that is the level of satisfaction if you don't get satisfaction to that level in the words of palki wala then just smile don't feel bad also thank you very much thank you sir thank you so much it's always been wonderful hearing you i start in fact by thanking you for coming on this platform no, no, your word <laughs> no no your words are actually very valuable words for us for always we've been hearing and but in these covid times when it's become so rare to even see anyone it's really uh, something so great for us that you hear and giving us such some nice words and i also thank you on uh, the part of informal webinar for such encouraging words for the group as well we really only look forward only one grievance <laughs> only one grievance it was yes, monologue <laughs> so that, so, that so, so difficult no it is <laughs> no no this this will start now as interactive we keep it monologue for the reason that everyone wants to hear the golden words we do we yeah, ensure that we don't miss out on a single word also so that is the reason we keep it monologue but it was really nice thank you very much sir everyone has in fact memories with you as an associate as an affiliate and uh, today i am sure that everyone would be remembering that time being there with you in the court and missing that time because we get to see you after more than about 3 and a half months we could say that so thank you very much and um, of course and thank you for that uh, step wise explanation as you've given you could see your popularity we have the room full there are a lot of people on youtube and facebook also hearing you so you can well imagine that how valuable it is for you being here sir so i'll now start with the question sir uh, there are some questions which people want to ask in fact i'd also like to ask one question when we entered profession i was 2004 i also saw that time it was still was there that people used to give a list of judgments in the morning to the court we should also we could also get a copy and we used to then prepare and know the view of the other side now that thing has stopped people just get the print outs hand over across the board so what is your experience and your feel about it now it is a time that we don't know what the other person might be citing judgments there might be a time we may miss out on these judgments also so what is your view about it no the, there are two two things which you are saying one is the traditional way of giving books and yes. all yes sir i have faced this difficulty we as lawyers of the punjab and haryana i could used to protest a lot uh, mr sc kapoor who is no more is a very top civil lawyer of our high court he used to be really against the giving of the photocopy he says i will get the case registered of copyright now in print outs you get a right and there is no violation of copyright what i have understood i appeared before justice narang at that time i thought that we make grievance unnecessary the delhi lawyer used to come properly flag photocopies even marked inside we have to adopt that system the old way is i have to got there no time with the judges you have to just take him to the rather i personally feel prop, it should not be only properly flagged it was a properly bound and page marked also so maybe extra money you may be spending you have to you have to live in this system you have to fight for your client and you you have to you can't make a grievance that the judge has not taken out a book so this is one part second is the missing out earlier missing out used to be more the other side sometimes used to show and judge used to say that already right, you give a copy now we this group can sometime post covid 19 shall 
tell the courts also that we are finding it very difficult. The copy sometimes is not being provided even during the arguments. So this is the practical difficulty which we face and that affect our the, not only our performance but delivery of justice. This is a basically a method or a request which we have to sit together and get it uh, done from the court side. That nobody will quote any judgment unless a copy is supplied to the other side. But generally it is being ignored. That is the problem. Sir, I'd also like to make another request. There's a general grievance generally of the people who just enter the profession, the youngsters. They say, is, if we do not have a case, how do we read something? I would I really love, I want you to advise them how to do that. This sometimes no. is that I don't have rent case, so how do I read it? Absolutely, absolutely. You are 100% right. In 1991, under the banner of Adivakta Parishad, we started this discussion that maybe 10 lawyers used to come with, maybe 20, one of them used to prepare one topic and we used to discuss it. This can be only done through discussion. I will be, maybe on papers I may say, no, go to the library, read this. You are absolutely on the point unless the case comes, whether being paid or not, you will not go to that. You have to either sit in some court, hear the argument only, then you understand the topic or there are something before you. And I will request post COVID-19, this opportunity of webinars have been given. You call somebody for you, people I know are doing discussions internally, you have a very good group. Physical presence of everybody, even in normal days is very difficult. Somebody has something at home, they have to reach somewhere. Please continue this, this is good for the youngsters. I started pre-COVID-19, 10, 12 lawyers, uh, youngsters. I tried to involve them. They you started coming on Tuesday from 4 to 5. So post-COVID-19, I am going to announce that. So everybody should have this kind of group. There you can learn better. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll start reading the questions. This is there a question from Mr. Anshul Mangla, advocate? He says, sir, kindly explain the psychology as a quality of a good lawyer. <laughs> psychology, <laughs> don't start reading books on psychology. Psychology... <laughs> I tell you, most of the lawyers, I have seen Mr. Arun Jaitley appearing in this court. His case used to be at 12 o'clock. He will be there at 9.45, We used to still reach at 10, 10, 15. So I asked him once that why you come at 9.45? That I was free. I wanted to learn how the judge behaves. So this is the psychology. So while sitting in the court for two hours, he used to prepare his fresh note and I have not seen in Mr. Jaitley this. You will see many more lawyers because we know the psychology of our judges. But somebody coming from the outside, what he is doing in one hour, he is trying to understand. And then he will be looking at the state council, how he reacts to the situation. So it's a very interesting profession, I will say, where you, if you take it in that sense without much burden on your head, so you will start enjoying this. Then look at the reaction, how the judge is reacting. Look at the other lawyer, how he's reacting. So if you will sit in the court where you have to argue today, tomorrow or whatever, even I'm telling you the clients have started coming to the courts because of the roster, they know how the judge is behaving. He will come to you, he will say, no, no, I was there for two days in that court. I have understood how he behaves in the case of the landlord or in the case of a banker, whether he's a relief giving or not. And Vishal will tell you, that in surface, it depends upon the bench to bench, whether OT and things <laughs> So all this is part of psychology. <laughs> so uh, Karan, you can unmute yourself and ask the question. Am I audible and visible? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, so I have two questions. Uh, since I've been observing I remember when you referred to Mr. Jaitley, he came for an argument and you were sitting next to him. It was Justice, uh, 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 the division bench of Justice Narayan, Justice M.S. Gill and Justice Ranjit Singh in that very famous matter. I would not name the litigant here, but you know whom I'm talking about. Mr. Yuyu Lalit, who is now the Supreme Court judge, is, uh, was representing. Uh, socializing and networking, sir, is a very essential part of a lawyer's life. And I see a lot of senior advocates, including you, and then we have many listeners also who are senior counsels. And now even with us also, we are in office till 9, 10. What is it and how do you socialize? Do you suggest that these webinars or other modes should be adopted, especially in the COVID area? Or on a live, 
<laughs> on a lighter size i was taking taking socializing in a different manner <laughs> <laughs> Sir, on a lighter side, I was referring to that socialization. <laughs> <laughs> so, sir, how does that play an important role? That you're more visible to people. That's I very tell essential. you my experience, frankly, on this forum. You may socialize, which we are talking off the record or on the record. There also, if you are discussing sense, then you are respected. Otherwise. after 10 you know what kind of talks takes place you are in the next days if you have talked not talk nonsense or you have kept quiet your impression is spoiled so be careful you should socialize socialize doesn't mean uh, going to the parties and all yes if you are invited there also you your impression all that's why i mentioned inside the court and outside the court your impression will always be judged and that will become a milestone or a, a something of that sort in the mind of the judge and the client or the fellow colleague that he is the man of that this nature but i will add one to that which i forgot to socializing and be spiritual so spiritualism i am not saying it's not a, a worship i am saying go to temples and all spiritualism in my mind is something different which is also must in a lawyer socializing and spiritual was one i think heading i forgot socializing is must but you talk sense there you will be recognized there is no problem try to involve that's why i'm saying reading newspapers uh, uh, choosing right or wrong argument or whatever and then listening to others sometime i've seen lawyers have a typical problem if you are interacting with non lawyers or a businessman or any other friend the problem is you don't listen to the other you keep on speaking that is also wrong next question is by sarthak sarthak you can ask your question please uh, am i audible sir yes yes thank you so much for the wonderful lecture and uh, i personally consider myself fortunate to have been part of a lot of discussions with you i have gained lots of from the discussions with you and also uh, this very webinar was also quite helpful so my question is regarding drafting and it's an extension of vishal sir's question as to whether it is feasible to include case laws in your drafting itself or no should omit, or should we omit case laws from our pleadings no i tell you yes uh, my understanding of quoting the there are two parts again yes sir yes. once you understand the law then you have to fit in your facts while drafting the petition but oh. if your case is totally covered my suggestion it's a my secret thing to telling you i have no uh, can, nothing to hide the yes, you must quote in the heading itself okay okay that it is covered by so and so judgment okay. because if you anybody from the ag office who has worked in ag office i i have luckily very in a younger age i was appointed as adisha i have not i think completed 10 years so i happen to see the work you have to understand the working of the uh, the, uh, the lawyer who is working in the ag office then you will understand how the judges also work he is having he is getting the briefs at 12 o'clock clock and all how he is reading all the briefs he just look into the first few two pages headings and prayer what is the dispute from there he will judge 95% 97% states have always done correct things normally and the even but the only thing is how the state council uh, he will read his written statement and the heading same thing the judge will read if you have a very strong case please quote in the first para itself please quote in the red petition in the heading itself as being settled by the supreme court in so and so judgment don't hesitate then but you should be sure of sometime it boomerangs also and in grounds also make it a habit that is a traditional way of drafting you must quote the judgments this will improve your working only forget the whether the judge reads or the opposite party reads when you draft a red petition i am talking about the red petition, red petition yes. wherever you take the grounds try to quote there's no harm okay okay akhilesh you can ask your question please right sir sir uh, am i audible yes 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 sir wo ms dhoni ki movie aayi thi jisme ek dialogue tha ki dimag ka dhaga khol diya 
सर हमने 40 मिनट में 40 मिनट में सर वो चीज बताई है ऑल दो ऑल दो माय फादर इज आल्सो अ लॉयर बट सर कुछ चीजें जो आप मतलब सीखते हो वो सर दे आर इनकंपेरेबल सर 40 मिनट के लेक्चर में सर आपने बहुत ही मतलब चीजें बताई हैं व्हिच आर इनकंपेरेबल एंड टू मच वैल्यूएबल फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस सर सिर्फ दो क्वेश्चंस थे एंड आई विल जस्ट कंक्लूड इन अ मिनट वन व्हाट इज योर टेक ऑन नॉन प्रैक्टिसिंग एडवोकेट्स जॉइनिंग द प्रोफेशन एंड सेकंड सुप्रीम in the even in the going to the supreme court if you have to engage a top lawyer how many lawyers you can count right 5, 10 11 right so yeah. good lawyers are always required number one number two various forums are opening i told you if you might you count can count any time with me more than 30 tribunals and are there in within chandigarh i'm not talking about panchkula and mohali 30 ji yes. ha sir i think my second question was also uh, is also answered by you so, uh, my query was uh, your comments on changes in quality of litigation uh, over the past few years because uh, no. there is a lot of I change in district courts because, because i was in district courts definitely for work procurement most of us are going to wahan pe sir jab hum jaate hain to most of the, the, the district court lawyers sometimes especially the young lawyers they say ki nahi yaar kaam hi nahi hai to kya de but no doubt the work is circulating everyone is doing my office is doing everyone is doing but the only concern is ki ye jo cheeze back foot pe ja rahi hai this, this is i just want to have your view points regarding that yes i i was in a webinar padam ji is here in yes. uh, in case of haryana i was right. addressing the district court lawyer this is the common problem i have uh, practiced for 5 6 years extensively in the high court including cross examination Yes. i attended one railway commission inquiry 500 witnesses we have process i mean i have an experience of that side also the right. problem is in the district court lawyer is the same problem which we are having with respect to all the lawyers of the high courts we will not don't want to go out of the district courts that is they have lot of experience cross examination everything they don't want to go yes right too right. much of uh, because they they are used to one pattern and they will keep on cribbing no answer to that there right. is a electricity commission the lawyers from delhi are going to the panchkula electric electric commission no lawyers from the high court are willing to go very high stake litigation is there saurabh uh, goel you can ask he was one of the uh, in the webinar msme he told me right. there is there is a uh, there is a judge sitting there and uh, what kind of orders and decrees are being passed in favor of msme now the uh, the msme litigation is going to further increase how many right. of the lawyers from the high court are ready to go nobody wants to go that is the problem same right. problem so from the district court drts have come right. so many things have gone out arbitrations right. have gone nobody goes district right. court lawyer doesn't go right. to the arbitration so that is the problem right so there's a question so thanks a lot sir thanks a lot sir there's a question on the facebook saying what do you see the as uh, the future of a profession post covid 19 especially when it is being felt that uh, the litigation is on a decrease due to covid i personally feel yes it's a difficult time the day it started when i commented amongst the seniors and my friends that forget 2020 from your profession everybody used to laugh i am telling you i told every young lawyer that we are very lucky that we are in india we cook at home our requirements are minimal and you must have realized in 2 years how much extra we are unnecessarily spending a laborer can survive on 5 kg ration how much ration you require if you look at your parents not parents or grandparents if you listen to them they used to survive on kichdi also so our requirement is less we have started expending a lot 
but that is one part difficult times you have to cut your expenses prepare for the for one year at least then you will be able to see but as far as the profession is concerned the litigation will come back after the day this will come back you will forget these days i'm telling you so i always tell everybody that utilize this god has given them to sit at home and realize and enjoy the nature and everything curtail and think about that how much extra we were spending think about that so all these things this is the time difficult time your family and everybody the expenditure part sometimes you have to give away to certain people also so your staff also some people they, in bombay i am hearing a lot so they can't survive the uh, with uh, without maids and all the, those maids have gone back so these kind of things will happen this is this is a tough time some people were predicting ki nature will play after 10 years kal yug aa jayega 15 years god has shown you right now but we were not prepared for it now you should be prepared for it these are really comforting words for everyone be it a beginner or any lawyer thank you so much <laughs> we would actually love to hear you for on and on but the time is a limit and we could not go on so we'll have to miss out on questions so thank you very much and now thank on you. to padam ji padam ji now padam ji thank you thank you vishal <clears throat> uh, today is a friday it was last friday when when i called the chetan mittal sir uh, to inform him that our group desires that he must come up to among us trust to speak on the topic art of advocacy and he did not take a minute to say yes to it i told him that we wanted today that is friday he agreed at once i said it is as 4 pm he said suits me <laughs> the, the positivity in his approach was so warming i was really overwhelmed i'm very, i'm uh, very grateful to him for accepting our request justice mc chagla the first chief justice of bombay high court post independence in his autobiography roses in december has beautifully written and i quote law is a great discipline for the mind it teaches you how to think clearly precisely and accurately every word has its definite meaning and must find its proper place in its own context unquote chetan ji with his immense experience as told by mr karan bagwaj in his introduction has always been an asset to the high court bar i must say in general and the youngsters in particular today he has taken us to the alleys of the court and the bar and to tell us to how to get justice for our clients by invoking the art of advocacy the popularity of chetan ji is no secret and can be confirmed from the overwhelming response to our today's webinar in fact most of the friends whom i called up to come and attend told me that we have already invite and we will definitely attend and all of them are here today i would like to share a small story uh, if you be bear, bear with me for 2 minutes in context of today's address by chetan ji this story is of spain where the people are very patriotic one day a person named john boards a straight bus for traveling and once he is in he is inside he says loudly that john will not buy a ticket today the driver of the bus named michael was surprised and wanted to confront him but seeing his body built because john was a strong person he did not dare so the next day also same thing happened when john while boarding the bus said that john will not buy a ticket today this thing happened for two or three days more driver michael felt very ashamed he took leave for two days uh, he, he took leave for two, uh, two months and joined as a gym he started exercising followed rigorous training and built a very good body after two months he joined back his duties as a driver once again when he was uh, driving john boarded from the same stop and uh, as soon as he entered in the bus he said john will not buy a ticket today now michael got up from his seat and caught john from his collar and said and asked why will not john buy a ticket today john calmly smiled and said because john has a pass so chetan ji told us that a lawyer 
as a lawyer we have to concentrate on the details of the facts and not to believe what they appear to us the superficial knowledge the superficial arguments don't matter we have to go in depth i on behalf of team in formal webinar extend my heartiest thanks to chetan mittal ji who shared his valuable time and experience with us today in this webinar i would also like to thanks all our viewers and listeners on zoom facebook and youtube who participated in this session i would be failing in my duty if i do not thanks the senior advocates from our high court from various district courts from the states of jammu kashmir punjab haryana himachal even maharashtra and uttar pradesh advocates have joined us from uh, joined us today uh, in today's session i would also like to thanks the organizers of today's session especially mr nilesh bhartwaj mr vishal agarwal mr karan mr vishal gar rochita ji piyush dr jyoti and everybody involved in making this webinar a success thanks to all in the end i will request everybody to subscribe to our youtube channel study circle webinars and keep connected we on every monday wednesday and friday at 4 pm we will be coming up with very good topics and then i again thanks mr chetan mittal ji for uh, sharing his valuable time with us thank you so much thank you everybody thank you thank you and sir we look and we look forward for another session with you sir no, no, it will not be all refreshing it was quite so refreshing we look forward for another session soon sir thank sure. you very much sir thank, thank you thank you everybody thank you everybody thank, thank you so much